Luigi Matrone, CEO and founder of eBusiness Institute, is here today to talk to us about Global Shapers. So, Luigi, um, who are the Global Shapers firstly, and what is the role of the Geneva Hub? The Global Shapers uh, is an initiative of the World Economic Forum. We are a network of 450 hubs from around the world with more than 5,000 uh, uh, members. Uh, our aim uh, is to provide our skills, our leadership and our potential to the communities where we live, so in our case, the city of Geneva. We are uh, young people between 20 and 30 years old, and the members are selected based on the achievements, the potential, and the willingness to actually impact uh, the communities where we live. Geneva is one of the very first uh, hubs created by the World Economic Forum almost five years ago. We have uh, 30 members, a very strong uh, team that uh, you can see in the picture, some of us at least and uh, we are very, very much committed to improve the state of our community here. Okay, so you speak about some of these projects you're doing in the city of Geneva, what exactly are they though? So 2015, uh, this year, the year that is almost over, has been a year of consolidation for us. We brought on board uh, new members, we have uh, a very strong team now, we have devoted our uh, time to mentor and support uh, different uh, categories uh, of people here, from uh, young students uh, that face uh, life-changing conditions, uh, career, personal issues, as well as uh, startups, uh, thanks to partnerships with uh, the Impact Hub, the Geneva Impact Hub, um, startup in incubator co-working space, but also working with uh, the port, an initiative of the CERN to bring innovation in the city. 2016 is going to be a year of uh, big step change for us. We're going to work on uh, three main areas. Uh, the first one is a project called Understanding Geneva. We have started an effort to research what are the real issues of the people in Geneva by talking to those institutions or individuals that are already working with those in need in the city. This will give us visibility of what uh, people here are needing and how we can best use our skills to support them. A second big uh, stream of work is going to be on food. We're going to work in uh, the food waste reduction. There's many expats in Geneva, many of us are traveling and we constantly have food in our fridge that we throw away. The numbers are very high for this city and we want to raise sensibility around this topic. And the last area is actually a not very nice uh, um, situation for Switzerland. Switzerland is ranked as number two in the e-waste, electronic waste uh, per capita worldwide. So this is the second country. Each of us, we produce 27 kilos of electronic waste per year. And uh, we're going to work in order to increase awareness of this issue and actually try to reduce uh, what we produce every year. Okay, so food and, and e-waste reduction it seems like, but what are some of the economic changes this can have going forward? Look, Sam, the, um, first of all, let me start with uh, an anecdote. This city is a Protestant city, and actually the banking system, the private banking system of this city is founded upon the concept of giving back to society. So the concept of giving is embedded into financial institutions and into the economical value that it actually carries. Uh, so for us, uh, the connection with the financial world uh, is very important and the economical reasons behind uh, the projects that we do are equally important. So if you think about uh, food waste, uh, um, there is actually an econo economical value into reducing the food. Uh, it relates to the trash that the city is producing, uh, but also the way people are spending their money, their budgets, optimizing them eventually using some of their budget to give back to other classes of the society. Same applies for uh, the e-waste project, electronic waste. There's a huge amount of money that go into processing this type of waste, which is very complicated too. But actually some of these items might be used or reused or bring back to life to provide um, uh, education, classes uh, to people in need uh, in the city. And there's many associations that do exactly that. So we're going to support this and the economical value hopefully is going to be for, uh, for everyone. Let me close with um, an invitation for everyone that is interested in uh, getting to know more the Global Shapers. Uh, they can come on our Facebook page, Global Shapers Geneva Hub, and there they can connect with us. Okay, Luigi, thanks for your insight. Thank you very much.
And thank you for watching. Be sure to click back to Jukoscopy TV for more updates and exclusive interviews. We'll see you next time. Oh, <laughs>